Naron White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video on my Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough. Today, bringing you Mass Effect 2. Without further ado, let's have some fun. So interestingly enough, looking at these, these people here, I think the correct decision would be to redistribute a lot of their points. But I think it would only be the correct decision to redistribute the points of the people who are loyal to me. Because they have different powers and would theoretically benefit from that. So, looking at it, um, Garrus would make sense. So, we increase his Turian Rebel firstly. Nicely done. We'll go with um, increased weapon damage. Actually, increased health is pretty good. Garrus could use some health. We don't care about his armor piercing ammo because we're going to use squad cryo. And uh, concussive shots, so. We'll go with heavy concussive blast. And uh, increase with. Uh, then go with overload. So I'm not sure what we had. I think we may have had points somewhere else. I'm not sure. But we only want to go with the people who have um, squad powers here. So this guy's a really good idea. So we'll make him a freaking tank here. So Krogan Pure Blood increases his health regeneration, which is exactly what we want. And then fortification after that. He's got to max that up. And we'll go with heavy fortification for more shield damage protection. And then concussive shot as well. So he's got like one concussive shot. Excellent. Who else is uh, uh, who else have we completed the quest for Morden? So let's redistribute his points. Neural shock for sure. Neural shock is the way to go. First, we we'll get Solarian scientist. So increase his strength of his shields or his weapon damage. Morden could definitely use some health, so we'll go with his shields. And then we'll get neural shock maxed out. One organic enemy at a time. Very cool. We can either go with heavy neural shock and enemy any chance of action or multiple targets. We'll go with the first. And then we'll start maxing incinerate. Well done. So Thane, not yet. Jack, not yet. Jacob, not yet. Samara, not yet. Tali, not. Do we get Tali's quest? I don't believe so. Kasumi, no. Zaid, no. Miranda. Miranda's an ally now. So she has slam. So that's very good. So first we'll max out her Cerberus officer. And so she'll be a... I want her... I want squad weapon damage increased. So that's very good from Miranda. And then slam. Heavy slam or crippling slam? Grievous bodily harm. The cripple actually looks like it could be pretty good. So we'll go with that. Good job, Miranda. Uh, then we'll probably go with... I think warp is the way to go. Sh synthetics, yeah, we'll go with warp. But we already have one biotic attack here. So let's actually get overload. Cool. That takes care of Miranda. So let's get out of here now. So we got everyone we've already developed a relationship with. That is so cool, dude. Shadow Booker is just so cool. Oh, see, this is crazy. Alright, cool. So let's head back to the Citadel and get Kasumi's quest done. And I'm really liking the new setup that Shepard has going. This has just been so much fun, man. 
And that's what I mean, like, even though that you can say that wasn't necessarily super productive, it was a ton of fun, and what did it cost an element zero? I mean, it's a freaking video game, you know, so... Let's have some fun playing the game. So let's go help Kasumi next. Oh, we can't help Kasumi here, we have to help her. So let's help Dane. So cool, so now we got Garrus, so we gotta get Thane Krios, and who else? Or not, Grunt. So we upgraded him, and here's Thane, Drell Assassin. Okay. So we can either increase Thane's health or his weapon damage. Let's go with his health, because he probably has really low health. And then Shredder Ammo, we don't care. So throw or warp, difficult to say. Myself, I say we try and max throw. Heavy throw or throw field, we'll go with heavy throw. And then we'll get warp as well. Very well done thing. Awesome. I wouldn't want to play with Thane's character though, because um, He's a biotic with sniper, so he's like an assassin type, as we know from his backstory. Start with CSEC then. So I thought there was an option to talk to Thane. You think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. Yes? Oh, we we'll ask about it. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many Drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a Drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though, it crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducks dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. 
He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. We need you to answer some questions. And the people I work for... Look, I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another drill instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I, I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You've always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh, shit, you heard... Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah. Absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up in the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Explorer ships have reported 
seen vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Ragnar ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting. Do you think we could get into the Presidium if we went along the upper hall? I'm sure so. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if it's too much time negotiating... Be so when I played Mass Effect 2 back in the day, in the Renegade versus I played Paragon the first time through, right? And then I played Renegade the second time. In the Renegade, you can beat this guy senseless. It is so much fun playing Renegade at questing against this guy. Because you can literally just pummel him. And it's like... Because he doesn't talk. He's actually like not going to talk for a while, so I'm not sure how the Paragon goes. But the Renegade, you just pulverize him until he talks, and it's so much fun. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. Bailey doesn't know you're here. But he will. After we're done. This is off the record. No criminal charges will be brought against you. What are you, frog boy? This little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, huh? Didn't think you had the balls. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve either. Running out of time. Bailey can't stall his advocate for long. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Goddamn waste of my time. How about this? You tell us the target and... I said get out of my way, Bailey. You have no right to... What the hell is going on in here? Step away from my client. Is that... Do you have him tied to the chair? Glad you could make it, Freddy. Traffic was bad.
You'll need a shovel the size of the Citadel to dig yourself out of this. This is all above board. I'm a Council Spectre. Shit! What? What's that mean, Freddy? Spectres can do whatever they want, Elias. I can't help you. Shit. If it was you I wanted, I could kill you and go. I want the assassin. Tell me who the target is, and I'll leave. Damn it. Joram Talene. He's a Turian, running for intendant of Zakira Ward. Where can we find him? His apartment's in the 800 blocks. Let's go. I want to pause here for a second. Remember that when we talk with the council to get reinstated as a Spectre in Mass Effect 2, if you play the Renegade version, you don't get reinstated, which means you're not a Spectre, I'm pretty sure. So you just pulverize this guy, draw your gun, and intimidate him into giving you the answer instead of just being a Spectre, which ended up working out this way. So super cool thinking about the Paragon and the Renegade options where, of course, as the White Knight, Commander John Shepard, the Spectre, we're able to uh, you know, do our job as a Spectre and get the answer. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. View. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha, thanks. Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the Council's support. Taking back our ward is only the first step. We must remove the cowards and appeasers on the Council. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'm following. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day.
as though the wheel of fire mills another soul. Entropy wins. Entropy always wins. Well, I mean, was it possible to save that guy? Oh, Jesus, man. So, yeah, not good, man. Not good at all. I've got to reload the safe. Yeah, thinking is I'm not going to be happy with that. So, yeah. Yikes, not good. That's tough, man. That's a lot of uh, time we have to re redo, but that's okay. Unfortunately, we don't have another choice. So. Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but we already talked about this stuff. He's a stuff. former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. I've heard enough. No, it sounds like you're yes, a boy. If I Mouse do. can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll. You know. don't know. I've worked. To... He faces. We better hurry. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate. He's a cop. Yes, of he course. Could. Thank you, Shepard. I'll we'll quickly talk with Mouse. <sighs> Go through the same process again, and we need to save, obviously, before that mission. So yeah. So we'll get back there and then save the yeah, game. Sure. You mouse? What do you Be still, mouse. You can change your pants. We need you to answer. The people I work you gave another drill instructions for. I don't know. I didn't ask. Cuz the people I work for, <laughs> they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I'm going to die for you. Look, you know things. But these people Nobody's going to know you. All right, all right. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. Human. He got now he runs the rackets on the lower end. You did good, man. Yeah. Kill him with that. Just don't bring the family. You want to go talk to Bailey again? Let's head back to Bailey. Yes? You talk Elias Kel uh, Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He pays I, you off. I'll, I'll stay out of sight. Bring him in. I'll make it happen. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Ben Elias has his VI sent We should question him together. Keep the breath. You talk to But if we waste too much time... Off the record. You hired an I want to see you. Right, I'm gonna... You two are in way over your heads. Bailey won't let you touch me. 
Bailey doesn't this know you. What, this... what, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. No, huh? Didn't think you had the balls. Think careful. You want... I get the name. I got no we don't reason. have a reason to do Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Goddamn waste of my time. How about this? I said get out of my way, Bailey. You have no right to... What the hell is going on in here? Step away from my client. Is that... Do you have him tied to the chair? Glad you could make it, Freddy. Traffic was bad. This is all above board. I'm a council specter. Shit. What? Specters can Shit. do it. If it was you, Damn I'm it. Where can we find him? apartments in the eight. Assassination. The thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. If a majority That's a nice... All right, now this is where we save, and that's where I'll go ahead and end the video there for this week. And so with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Is it great? Helps the channel. I'd like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.